Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at taking a picture with your phone or making it take a picture programmatically. And in fact, taking a picture is going to turn out to be very easy. Storing the picture requires a little bit more work uh, and in this tutorial we're purely going to look at taking the picture. So um, there are two ways you can handle this. One way is you can do everything with the camera yourself. You can control your phone's camera directly. And if you're interested in that, take a look at developer.android.com and go to the training section and advanced and controlling the camera. But what we're going to do in this tutorial is because um, my goal here is simply to enable my note squirrel application that I've been working on in these tutorials to replace its default picture with a picture you've taken using the camera. So um, it's cam the camera stuff is not integral to the application. It's not fundamentally what, uh, what the application does. I just want it to be able to take um, a, a photo if possible. And for that reason, um, I'm going to use um, a pre-installed application on Android to take my photo. So if your phone's got a camera or if the phone you want to run your application on has a camera, it's a fairly safe bet that there will be at least one application there that can take photos with that camera. And um, we're going to say to the phone, please find an application that can take a photo and use that to take the photo. Now, um, I've created this application here that just consists of a main activity. And the activity, the main activity, just has a button in its layout. And if we look at that on my phone here, let's go to the screencast. This is this is all the application is. And if I click the button here, it does nothing at the moment. Um, but uh, what it will do is it will invoke this on click handle here. And then here I want to put some code that will take a photo. So the first thing to do is to declare that your application uses the camera. And I'm going to go to the Android manifest here and I'm going to, let's look at the Eclipse view of it. And I'm going to add in this manifest extras section here, I'm going to click add and I'm going to say use this feature. And I'm just going to give a name here for the use this feature node. And I'm going to say android.hardware.camera. So let's save that. And uh, also you can say whether this feature is required or not. And in the case of the application that I want to ultimately integrate this code into, um, the camera is not going to be required. It's going to be an optional extra. So I'm going to say false. But if your application absolutely required the use of a camera, of course you want to set that to true. And what that does is it adds to your um, XML and you can type this yourself directly if you want this uses feature tag and I've got the an Android name in there and Android required set. So now we've declared that the um, the application uses the camera or might want to and what we need to do now is create an intent that will trigger your phone to go away and run an application that can take a photo and uh, so far we've used intents for starting activities where the activity was a part, an actual class in our own application and that's called an explicit intent but an intent can also be implicit where you fire off an intent that um, tells your phone um, can you please try to do this and it lets your phone decide um, or your user decide which application to use. So I'm going to say here intent i equals new intent and instead of specifying a particular class that I want to run I'm just going to say here media store and I'm going to use a, a static constant of media store action image capture and that will tell the phone um, to try to capture an image using whatever application it can so I'm just going to call start activity now start activity here we go, and I'll just supply it with that intent like this. And let's click save. And whoops, I meant to have start activity, not start activities. There we go. And let's now run that code. And this is this is complete code for taking a photo 
um, providing you don't want to control the um, the camera in detail yourself, which most of the time you don't. And so I'll run my um, there's my phone running in the screencast, and I'm going to launch my activity. So it's installing it, and in just a second, hopefully we will see the application running. So here's, here's the application and now I'm, I'm taking hold of my camera in a real world, my phone sorry, and I'm clicking take a photo and we've now gone to an external application to take the photo with and this is my flat you can see. And I'm going to just click this button to take a photo and it's taken a photo and I'll click this tick to say yes I like that photo and we've gone back now to my original application. So that's um, all there is to taking a photo but um, well, it's changed, it's gone on its side just because I let the phone um, fall sideways um, but saving a photo is a little bit more involved and we're going to move on to that um, very shortly but that's it for this tutorial so until next time Happy coding.